without touching upon what these two gentlemen have spoken, I will give two or three practical examples how a rich man became pauper. I, I keep uh, Dr. Manzoor Alam as a witness during tsunami in Chennai, which shattered the whole coastal belt of uh, Tamil Nadu, and we were the first to witness and saw the screaming of people, and especially in a place called Nagore, where we could see from our own eyes the Zameen Patrahi, and we saw cars were getting inside. And after the third day, Dr. Mazur Alam Sahib is visiting to the Kadalur and Nagur and all, all these places. And that is how I always just thinking that we say that in economics, rich become richer, poor become poorer. But I have seen how a rich guy has totally become poor. He still has not, even though it's almost 16 years past, but still he has not come out, out of that, uh, what I tell you, that uh, trauma. Friends, this is uh, one we are talking about when we talk about equality and all these things. Some few points on international commitments which I would like to just dwell upon this. International organizations uh, like United Nations, World Bank and IMF, which I was telling about this. We have a nadi, a river in Chennai known as Kuom River, which is in the part of Chennai, very near to the main, main junction of Chennai. So the World Bank team visited this uh, Kuwam River for the cleaning process and they found that on the banks of the river there were uh, guys, people, habitations were there on the banks of the rivers. And instead of pondering over that issue, they thought, Ye kya hai? how come people, and that's a drainage water, how come people living there, absolutely they are in poverty. Instead of looking into this cleaning of the project, they started saying that these, first of all, these people should be out of this banks of the rivers. I think Salim Ali will agree with me. It has already come out in papers and all. So friends, when the international agencies uh, have visited, I would say, my place, Chennai, instead of giving priority over one particular project, they said this is better. We can, we can take these people out and of course, some displaced uh, people were given some places. Similarly, in Nagur, after this uh, unfortunate incidence of tsunami, my college management, which is uh, known as Muslim Educational Association of Southern India, we have made around 20 to 30 visits and finally we found a place. The displaced uh, people were given 100 houses, I'm talking about 14 years before, and at the cost of about 5 crore rupees and it was totally what it is sponsored by the new college. And why I'm telling you all these things, friends, in addition to this, during this discourse, what is what was happening? The UK AIDS Society. I don't know if anybody is from UK here. The United Kingdom AIDS Society. Money was pouring like anything into this uh, Nagpur and Nagapatnam area, where we were talking about. See, there were no takers. That's what that was a tragedy. There was no takers. It's a small hamlet. People from all over the world. People that come from Germany, from Sweden, from Finland, from US from Australia, from so many places, but there are no takers at all. So in that way I was so, because let us not pray that one more tsunami should come, that is different. But people were not there to take the money, that was the thing. Then finally they decided, yes, this is better than you must go for a community hall. You must go for a masjid, you must go for a mandir and do. Similarly, this is how the poor people of that area was taken out. So I think uh, uh, this is my personal view because I am a tsunami affected person. If Allah would have not saved me on that day, I wouldn't have stand before you today. I understand the trauma of this tsunami. I was rolled down for nearly one kilometer in this high tide of waters. And somebody went and told the family of Captain then I was no major. Captain Sahib is no major. You could even you imagine what would have been the fate of my family and my children. And when after two hours, I was brought home uh, by the hospital authorities, when they saw me, they were shocked to see. I think we heard a very bad news that you are no more. Friends, this is what I am telling you that we are working in a deep root level, particularly in the among the poorer section of the community. So I Vakki Nazarat ka khayal karte hue main aage nahi badhunga Mishya Sahab, main hi apni Thank you very much.